Experimental physicist Andrew Cleland may have become the first man to catch a glimpse of a parallel universe. Inside this small square of silicon, Andrew has etched a barely visible metal paddle. It's made up of over a trillion atoms. In the quantum world, it's Godzilla. And he's trying to show that something this large still obeys the rules of quantum mechanics. So we're very familiar with the fact that quantum mechanics applies to small things like electrons or atoms. But the idea that it should also apply to large things, things that we deal with in our everyday life, is uh, much harder to accept. But proving that his paddle can behave quantum mechanically means making sure nothing measures it. It needs to be in complete isolation and very cold. So this instrument is a uh, dilution refrigerator. If you have half a million dollars lying around, you too could own one in your own home. The instrument has a series of temperature stages that go from 1 Kelvin to 0.6 Kelvin to 0.1 Kelvin all the way to 20 millikelvin, or in other words, about minus 459 degrees Fahrenheit. This is where we operate these quantum experiments. Inside the dilution refrigerator, Andrew directs a single quantum of energy at the paddle. It should have a 50-50 chance of either receiving the energy or missing it. Instead, to his amazement, the paddle both receives the energy and misses it at the same time and begins to oscillate between these two realities. The paddle can be both in a state where it has no energy and where it has one of these uh, units of energy in it. And in that state, actually, when it's in both at the same time, you actually do get a vibration at six billion times a second. Andrew's groundbreaking experiment proves that the strange laws of quantum mechanics govern everything in our universe, from tiny particles to gargantuan galaxies. No matter the size, any object can be in many places at once. I thought people within the physics community would notice it and would give it some applause, as it were. But I, I really didn't expect that it would break outside of the small community that I'm used to dealing with. So that was, that was quite a surprise. There's a number of different interpretations that have been generated to try to explain this. One of them is the many worlds interpretation, or parallel universes. But in the end, those are not predictive. And because it's not predictive, it's not something we can test. So that leaves it open for people to choose whichever interpretation they prefer. If there are quantum parallel universes, Andrew's experiment could be the first step toward unlocking their secrets. But there's another type of parallel world that nearly all scientists are convinced should exist. It's made of antimatter. And if we ever meet it, the results would be complete and utter destruction. There is something even